before we begin today's video, I'd like to give you a brief message from our sponsor. You guys! Every single one of my videos is made by the people, for the people. When I started making content, I wanted to make it for people who just wanted to smile. And by you watching my videos, you are helping me. But if you'd also really like to support me, I do have a Patreon, and here's why. I am never going to take a brand deal. Brand deals to me are an incredibly dishonest form of marketing. Most creators make money in brand deals not by the company giving them money, but by their fans buying another company's product. And I don't want to make my living selling you guys crap that you don't like. So instead, if you want to help me continue to make brand deal free content, support me on Patreon. It helps more than you could ever know. You will find no extra content on there. This is because those that need my content most are the ones who can't pay to see it. Which is why every single video I make is entirely free. But if you are able to give me $3 a month, it goes a long way to helping me continue to make content. The link is in the description. That is all. Thank you for watching. Now please enjoy the Forever DM. Okay, finally, I'm at the library. How much does it cost to put a spell into my spell book? 50 gold. 50 gold? What the hell? What, you weren't expecting me to get away with it for free, were ya? How am I supposed to learn every spell in the library now? I have got like 10 gold on me. Okay, this might come as a shock, but maybe, uh-huh, just maybe, uh-huh, you aren't supposed to learn every spell right now. Oh, shut up. Why don't you go do some bounties, get some gold, come back here, and then learn every spell available to you? Do jobs for money? What do you think I am, a cat? Capitalist? Yes? Well, that was very foolish of you then. Are there any other people in this library? Yes, in fact, there's one man calmly scribing out a bunch of scrolls. Psst. Yes, my friend? Do you have like 40 gold? That is a lot of gold. Yeah, I'm trying to learn a new spell. And why exactly should I give you 40 gold when I can give it to literally anyone else? I'll be your friend. I have enough already. I'll be your bodyguard. I am quite a capable fighter already. Then I can... Why don't you go do some good old-fashioned bounties and get your own gold? Are you sassing me? I might be. Can you stop it? No! Then why don't you piss off? God, I hate being level one! You know, there's a super easy fix to that. Really? What's that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe go do some bounties! Fine, I will! You will? Yeah, I will. Now direct me to the bounty board. In that case, you go out to the center of town and see there's a massive cork board with thousands upon thousands of wanted posters on it. Yeesh, a lot of crime in this town. What skill level bounty are you going for? Ugh, only need a little bit of gold and experience. Uh, what's the easiest one on there? There's one bounty that says local cobalt infestation about a kilometer out of town. <sighs> Fine, I'll take it. You see the reward is 50 gold and a prized rapier. Look at you building rewards around stuff my character can do. I've learned a few things. Sure you have. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith and buy myself a short sword. Interesting choice, but okay. Hey, if I'm gonna be a blade singer, I at least need to have a blade. Well, great. You have your blade now. What are you gonna do? It is obviously time for a travel montage. What? Montage! <laughs> Use enough budget. Budget? What budget? The editor only has so much time in his day that he can do to do all this. So? If you spend all the budget on a montage, we won't have any for the fight scene. We don't need anything special for the fight scenes. We can just do what we did last season. Well, last season, you weren't a spellcaster, really. Excuse me, I was an eldritch knight. More like eldritch dumbass. You barely casted any spells. I casted Booming Blade a lot. Yeah, and it was gonna be great this season when you use it again. Well, I don't like your tone. Well, I don't like your character. <gasps> Oh, you take that back. Or what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make you regret ever giving me a quest to help some kobolds. You've been making threats for three episodes now. How about you actually scare me and cash in on one? Fine, I will. Now, where's this kobold infestation? You arrive at a farmhouse and the farmer comes out. Ha! What was that? I was casting the spell Mind Sliver. We ran out of budget. Remember, just take off a D4 of his next saving throw and he's gotta take a D6 of damage. You're not gonna listen to this guy's spiel. You're just gonna murder him in cold blood. I'm then gonna use Meta Magic for my Meta Magic Adept feed to cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Okay, that's a 14 on the saving throw. Subtract a d4. Oh god, that's a 10. He now finds everything ridiculously funny. Great, now what? I'm gonna tell him a joke. Really, you're gonna use your entire turn to tell this guy a joke. I'm gonna do something that's gonna hurt. No joke can hurt me. Turns himself into a pickle. No, please. Funniest shit I've ever seen. No! Laugh, pig! <laughs> Good, now where are these kobolds? One of the kobolds, after hearing all this commotion, pokes his head out of the ground. Tell your leader that I'm willing to help him take over the world if he takes me on as his right-hand man. No, you're not doing another revolution! That's not up to you. It's up to the dice. Roll persuasion then, coward! Oh my. What'd you roll? I never thought this was happen. What'd you roll? I'm honestly deeply surprised. What did you roll? <laughs> 
Natural 20. Damn it! Did I just successfully start my third revolution? Yes. Oh, it's all coming together. What is this even for? For Fireball Rogue. Stop! And for my goddamn beach episode! <laughs>